what we wanted to do today is uh, run through our sustainable efforts from the past year. I know the city administrator had forwarded to the members of the council the report that you'll be adopting later on in the agenda. This kind of follows it and gives an overview of where we are. So if you can go to the next slide. So in 2014, the city of Sheboygan became a green tier legacy community. This was an initiative with the uh, League of Wisconsin Municipalities and the Department of Natural Resources. And it was really the collaborative, working collaboratively with other communities on sustainable initiatives that really drew uh, the committee together on uh, the the task force at the time, the sustainability task force together on developing a mission and a goal and a plan as to where our sustainable efforts for the community were going to go. So each year we're responsible to submit an annual report uh, to the Na Department of Natural Resources reporting our accomplishments for the previous year and that's what this presentation and the report you'll adopt uh, is doing. Next slide. So these are just a little background, these are the communities and counties in the state of Wisconsin that are currently part of the Green Tier Legacy Program. It's really a network of communities and counties. They recently opened up two counties. Um, so there's a, a, a pretty good presence around the lakeshore um, and then separate, it kind of spread out through the rest of the county, uh, the rest of the state. Next slide. So <coughs> under the Green Tier Charter, these are really the benefits that we get for being part of this group. Um, the networking opportunities with other communities where we can share best practices and things that have worked. Um, if we're applying for any kind of DNR grants or loans, particularly <coughs> in the uh, Clean Water Fund and Safe Drinking Water, the two programs that wastewater and the water utility use, um, there, we get additional points on those scoring criteria. We're also part of this PACE funding, which is Property Assessed Clean Energy. It's similar to a development incentive, so developers can use it to make energy efficient improvements in properties and it can be assessed against their as a property tax. So the county, uh, Sheboygan County has implemented this one of I think seven or eight counties across the state that's doing that. It also allows the city to apply jointly for grant opportunities. Later on we'll talk about some of those we recently were awarded a tree grant for Emerald Ash Bore. Um, they've done some energy audits and we're working on a three-year grant with them on health initiatives in the community. Next slide. In 2014, the city uh, council adopted the city's first sustainability plan. So each year's action items that we, uh, across all the departments, use um, are consistent with this plan. Um, we're working to update this plan and at the end of 2019, it's a five-year plan. So we'll take a look at where we are and where we're going um, and make changes to that. Next slide. So starting with the accomplishments in 2018 uh, under the energy, um, there was a two new events that uh, were led particularly with Mayor Vandersteen uh, under around bike month in June. There was an event called Bike with Mike um, where you, it encouraged residents to come out and uh, bike the city and it was kind of a listening session on your bike. And then talk, Taco About Biking was held in conjunction with Activate and it was an event encouraging people to talk about biking. It was held at Evergreen uh, Park and they ate tacos and talked about the biking um, in the community and what could be improved and what we're doing well and all of that. So there was a very well received event. Next slide. Um, we're also working this year, uh, we were accepted into the Soul Smart initiative, which is a designation to say that we are a solar, uh, a solar recognized community and that we're removing local barriers to implementing solar technology. So right in 2019, staff is working through um, that scoring system and hoping by the end of the year uh, to be officially designated. And it's, it's one of these things where any type of developer, there's certain types of developers that are looking for developing in communities that have these type of designations. Next slide. The Department of Public Works uh, continued with conversion of city-owned lights into LED fixtures. So 393 light fixtures were converted to LED. Um, that's an ongoing uh, process, but there's definitely energy savings that are had by these conversions. Next slide. 
under the water side of things as it relates to the accomplishments, the mayor and the water utility rolled out a Wyland Foundation pledge that pledged Sheboygan, that Sheboygan residents would lower their water consumption and energy consumption. Last year was the first year in that um, pledge. The, the pledge has just come out recently. Um, I'm sure Mayor Vandersteen will talk about it in his comments that we're, the city's embarking on it again uh, in April of this year. Um, and working to you know lower water consumption and energy, we did rain continue to sell rain barrels for residents at uh, rain barrels in the kits at Maywood Environmental Park. Um, that's been an ongoing project as a place where people can go and get um, get reduced cost rain barrels if they want to collect rainwater. Anti icing prior to snow events, you've seen that with the Department of Public Works spraying the streets, and then continued street sweeping. Um, 32 weeks totaling 723.3 tons of debris was collected as well as 338 tons of debris from catch basins. Next slide. Under the recycling and composting, this, these are statistics again for the, the Department of Public Works. Um, 3,582 tons of recycling goods were collected, 182 tires, 234 tons of scrap metal, metal 10,700 gallons of waste oil, uh, 1,734 tons of leaves, and then 2,830 tons of yard waste. So this is the stuff that happens as part of the city's collection um, area and the pickup, as well as Christmas tree recycling that happens after the holiday season. And then um, the city continues to work with a, a Piranha shredding service as a document shredding service to um, recycle and, and destroy documents. Next slide. Under the community initiatives, um, we held our second year of Rock the Block events in partnership with the Habitat for Humanity group. We held our third year of fun, the Fund for Lake Michigan Adopt a Beach and Adopt a Habitat in conjunction with Camp Wicota. This was a grant that we had received to bring all third and eighth grade students to the lakefront to learn about uh, the beach ecosystem as well as habitat. Um, so that program has been very well received with the Sheboygan Area School District. And then in late 2018, we became part of the network known as the Wisconsin Active Together, which is a network that's encouraging people to get out and be active in their community with bicycling and um, pedestrian walking and those types of things. So we're just new into that uh, network. Uh, we were one of seven communities in the state that joined it in 20, late 2018. Next slide. Um, in partnership with the uh, Department of Public Works, the Adopt a Park, Adopt a Trail was implemented um, in our parks with a number of, and trails with a number of projects underway. And the Mead Public Library held a winter green event that I'm, I believe was related to seed sharing and some other things that they, and programming that they did in the f uh, February to get ready for the spring season. Next slide. Under land use, um, city staff worked with the Bay Lake Regional Planning Commission to complete a city code review for green infrastructure to make sure that um, our code or our code of ordinances, both our zoning code and our municipal code, um, weren't becoming hindrances or barriers for people to imp imp implement green infrastructure improvements. So we're working through that. <clears throat> Uh, today, Mayor Vandersteen sat in on these meetings with us and uh, will be probably coming forward in 2019 working with the city attorney's office on some changes to our ordinances to um, make it easier for people to implement green infrastructure. So these could be things like rain gardens and infiltration beds and those types of things, particularly as it relates to stormwater management. Um, in part in partnership with the Green Tier Initiative, we received $20,000 for new trees to replace emerald ash borers. So that was a benefit of being as part of the network. They applied for the grant and they'll be funneling us the money here later in 2019. And then as we all know, the renovation of City Hall into a more energy efficient building. Next slide. So that's it for the year. The report is in your packet. If there's any questions, I'm happy to answer them, but um, it's a collaboration between amongst a number of departments and uh, we continue to you know, do stuff in the most sustainable manner as we can, so thank you.